Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another GTA 5 roleplay video. In today's video, I'm basically going to give you guys a tutorial on how to join the newest city on my list. Now, for the last month and a half to two months, I've been having a lot of success playing in Trill City RP. Um, I was streaming on Caffeine for a few months. I've been regularly streaming on Facebook Gaming, and I recently got partnered again on Twitter. Twitch. and man all i can say is Devonte bacon um entire existence has taken a turn for the better and i feel like the newest server that i'm in i need to put y'all on because a lot of people have been hitting me up recently trying to figure out how to get in this server mainly because this is the first whitelisted server that i've ever been in and when i mean whitelisted it is a paid server so if you feel like you don't want to pay for a server or you're not ready, then that's okay. But when you are ready and you may want to meet Devontae Bacon, you know what I mean, in, in RP, make sure that you guys come over to Troll City RP because this is where I be, will be spending most of my time. And the reason for that, if you guys look behind me, I have my own mechanic shop in this city now. It's the biggest mechanic shop inside of Troll City RP and we are about to actually open up very soon. So I will be hiring it as well. But let's go ahead and hop into the steps. I know why y'all here. I don't want to keep y'all too long in this intro. Let's get into it. Now, as far as steps go, we're going to be going layer by layer. I'm going to be going as slow as possible. But the first step that you guys want to do is go over to my YouTube channel and make sure that you guys subscribe, of course. But you have to watch one video in particular, and that video is GTA 5 Roleplay, Setup Tutorial, and Cheap PC Build. The reason for this video is because it is going to allow you to actually take all the steps that you need to start using 5M in order to play GTA 5 roleplay. Huge disclaimer. I get this question a lot and it doesn't make me mad. A lot of people ask me if they can do this on console. No, you cannot play GTA 5 roleplay that is made from 5M on any console across any board at all you have to have a gaming pc a pc in general a laptop something like that strong enough in order to run 5m and all of the things behind that now in that video i talked about steam i talked about 5m i talked about rockstar games club i talked about discord so make sure pause this video go watch that one get yourself set up now for everybody else that's already set up Let's talk about what you really need. You need to make sure that you have Discord. If you've played in any RP server, nine times out of 10, that RP server has asked you to join their Discord and able to get on their whitelisting and everything like that. But as far as these paid servers go, there are a few extra steps. Let's get into them. So when it comes to Discord, I am in so many different Discord servers that it's insane. I literally have to condense a lot of these servers into folders because I'm in so many. But when it comes to the ones that I'm most actively in, it's my server and Trill City RP server. So make sure that you guys check out my server, but let's go ahead and hop into Trill Cities. Trill City RP has its own Discord server, has its own permalink, it's nitro I'm hoping that they get verified soon, but go to discord.gg slash trillcityrp. The link will be inside the description as well as all of the steps into this video. But I want to show you guys what it's like when you get to the Discord server because a lot of people that deal with these whitelisted servers that are paid don't know the first thing that they need to do in order to get into a server. And when they come in there, they ask a whole lot of questions. Sometimes they get into arguments with other people that have been in the server for a long time. They get called newbies. They say the MSA and, and automatically kicked out before they can even get in. So I'm going to tell you guys what to do to get into the server as well as have a, a, a cool namaste type moment when you get there, all right? So the first thing that you wanna do when you come over to the server is you want to go down to the rules. Make sure that you read all of the rules because they will make sure that you don't get your dumb behind kicked, snatched, banned, 
Perma Band sent to Bora Bora on the first flight sent to Valhalla. You don't want that to happen to yourself. So when you come to Trill City RP, the rules may not be the same as any other server that you went to. So you always want to make sure no matter what server you go to that you're reading the rules. Okay. Now, of course, I have access to a lot of different rooms inside of this uh, city because I've been in the city for a very long time. So, you know what I mean? It, I've been, you know, moving and shaking. But a lot of people come down to general and they always have like the, the, the huge questions about what they need to do and stuff like that. And of course, you see here uh, highlighted. Yes, basically puts, hey, we're a private server, which helps uh, prevent griefing and unwanted players. Whitelisting allows us to secure our server by restricting who can and cannot join the server. This is a serious role play server, and we take the application process very seriously. Any whitelisted servers you approach require an application process. You, yes, in order to receive the application, there is a donation fee. You need to go to uh, whitelist information, right? And when she adds civilians, civilians are just people who are not whitelisted. They're just in the Discord and they have to, you know what I mean, get themselves together and stuff. So if you come down to whitelist information, you know what I'm saying, where it says apply for whitelist, the reason why mine is, was closed is because I'm already whitelisted. I don't need to see that room like that, you know what I mean? But Whitelist the information. This is everything you need to know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and move over for you guys so y'all can uh you know what I'm saying read a couple things. But I rather you come to the Discord server to make sure that you read these whitelist information. You need to read it because this is how you get in. So they tell you to navigate to donate.trillcityrp.com. Then they tell you to select whatever package you want, stuff like that. Me, I have like I have like three packages that I was getting. Um, the prio package, so I can fly in because I'm gonna tell you now, this server popping, popping. So when you want to try to get in seven o'clock to like one in the morning, you best to you best to start at seven. Don't start at ten and don't start at one because you might not get in. I'm just saying it's a lot of events in this city and a lot of stuff be going on and we be having a lot of fun RPing. So um, also when you go down to a whitelist application, they tell you that you have to type a certain uh thing in order to apply for the whitelist after you donate it. But we'll go into those steps next. But let's go ahead and um, head over to donate.trocityrp.com so that we can get the information that you need as far as the whitelisting and donation fee. So as far as this step goes, this is very, very self-explanatory. Um, when you are dealing with whitelisted servers that take donations in order to apply for the server, this is where you go. So when we went to donate.trocityrp.com, they brought us over to a donatebot.io. And basically it tells you here, uh, Tro City Roleplay is using Donatebot to accept donations, 100% free for sellers, right? Now, you don't have to click on reward username. You have to select what product you want. So it tells you right here, whitelist applicant. This donation enables you to get access to our whitelist application channel. This donation is non-refundable. So I'm telling you right now, if you spend $25 and you go in and apply and you don't know the first thing about metagaming, you don't know the first thing about power gaming, you know, stuff like that, that type of information, you will probably get like scolded inside the application process, right? Now, I talk with one of the owners, um, I talk with Mushu, and of course, if you guys know me, I, I've been playing 2K for a lot of years now, so y'all may know Man Man Groundheart, but basically, that's who server this is mushu and my man groundhard so when it comes to the application process this is what you need to do you need to go to google.com you need to look up rp terminology you need to look up meta gaming you need to look up power gaming you need to look up green zones you need to look up a lot of this information so when you do go through the application process and you're new to rp you have some type of knowledge on what to expect in that application process okay now as far as white list application priority this means this donation will allow people to get their white listed application looked at like immediately 
You know what I mean? And that's $50, okay? Now, the next thing, this is for people who don't listen. This is for people who constantly do things to get themselves into certain situations. I would never do that. But they have an unbanned redo application fee as well, which is crazy. Now, remember, people that get sent up, Bora Bora, Valhalla, stuff like that, they do stuff they ain't supposed to be doing. And if they really love the server that much, they'll spend this fee to get back in, okay? Now, like I was saying, um, I was telling you guys that I was talking with one of the owners, and basically she was telling me that the denial rate is about 5%. So most of the people that apply to Tro City RP, most of them get in, actually 95% of them get in. So for those 5% of people that don't get in, maybe they don't know the first thing about RP, maybe they need to go out and play in a free server before they come in so they can actually know the real rules and stuff like that, that's why I tell you, if you want to get in with the application process and actually get in, learn about the terminology. Learn what being scuffed is. You know, learn about not bashing the server. Learn about, you know what I mean, coming into the server and not metagaming and power gaming and using OOC type of terminology and stuff like that. Like, I, I can't lie to y'all. Literally, the other day, we were paintballing um, inside the city and I ended up saying, yo, that bull gotta be aimed by him. That got me sent up. They snatched my feet, wrote me a message inside the error code where I where, literally, I'm telling you, they took my ID and pulled me out the city. You know what I'm saying? I was back in the queue like immediately. So they they basically said, OOC, aimbot, what is that? You know what I'm saying? So basically, you can't use stuff that you would use IRL inside here because basically in here, this is real life to people you feel me so you have to make sure that you get all the type of terminology down and make sure that you just being respectable with everybody's space and boundaries and then you'll be able to get back in you feel me but um let's go ahead and hop into the next step and we don't got too much left i just want to make sure that we got everything down packed and then i got y'all All right, so now that we're almost at the end of the video, um, I just wanted to go over a, a bunch of uh, steps. Make sure that you have Discord. Make sure you watch my uh, previous video on how to join 5M and get into these role play servers. Make sure that you guys go over to Trill City RP's Discord. Make sure you go to their donation thing, sign up, put your application in. This is a paid server. I'm not gonna remind you about that. So let me tell you guys about Trill City RP and what Devontae Bacon's story is. Um, if any of you have been on my Twitch uh, streams, my Facebook streams, or even one of my recent YouTube streams, Devontae be getting into it a lot with a lot of different females. You know what I'm saying? He's not a player. He just misunderstood and new to all of this relationship type shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Devontae used to be in cities that was just ramming all the time. You know what I'm saying? Dudes talking about money, bricks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all that different type stuff, gang stuff, cartel stuff like that. This city is filled with a lot of different uh, female personalities and stuff like that. And Devontae was just trying to figure out what he wanted, what he wanted to do and stuff like that. You can go back and watch all the VODs on Twitch. I have all my VODs on Facebook and stuff like that. You guys can watch those there. But today I want to tell you guys about something that he did that he's never done before. And that was buy a business. Um, this is the first time that I've ever done this. Um, this costs in real life money. So earlier I told you guys about $500 to get unbanned. This business right here cost me $500 irl okay so in order to get this i had to you know what i mean talk with the owners and stuff like that they had to put all of this uh script in and stuff like that and now i have my own business so let's uh go inside yes i still play on controller um when i'm uh actually driving cars and stuff like that um i don't play on controller when i'm just standing around or you know what i mean walking and stuff like that but um let's see all right um yes this is a uh a demon hawk right here you know what i'm saying this this car right here is like one of the best cars in the, in the city you know what i mean everybody love this car it sounds so genuine um when you starting it up and stuff like that like this this, this joint is amazing you feel me but um let's go inside of uh los santos real quick because uh, i want to show you all this like this is this is what this city has to offer you feel me So basically, I'm gonna just drive around in my car because this place is huge. So basically, you see nine bays over on this side. You know what I'm saying? Then you have three bays right here. These are all for cars. And then you know we have um, two uh, spray 
joint, see what I'm saying, where you can spray cars and stuff like that. And then we have three huge bays to do trucks in. So, like I said, this business is the probably the biggest business in the in the uh, city. And I'm just I'm just glad that you know what I mean. My cousin Buddha, which is Air Jones, see what I'm saying, if you guys don't uh, know, uh, Air Jones helped me out with this, and this joint is fire. But um, let's go ahead, and go upstairs real quick, um, cause I don't be wanting to. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Oh, also, I know y'all noticed like the red flag in my pocket, but um, you know what I'm saying. If you guys look at my license plate, my license plate says D Bacon 4L. So I am in 4L, and um, if you guys don't know what the 4L is, you know what I'm saying, 21 Savage type stuff. You know what I'm saying. Uh, basically, there are people in the server that have been playing with us, um, Young Nudie and stuff like that, and um, you know, we just been rocking and shit. You know what I mean, but um, basically. You know, this is like the little waiting area and stuff like that. We got a bathroom back there, a little storage zone back there. And then um, we got my main office in here, which is really, really dope because I can overlook everything that's going on. You know what I mean? Like, uh, say, for instance, a customer walks in and, you know, we might be up here bull crapping with the employees and stuff like that. We can tell them, yo, who, who want to go get that money? You know what I'm saying? They go down and get that money. We charge about 100 and probably 50K for the whole everything, like customizing, upgrading, uh, repairing, washing as well as uh respraying cars you know what i'm saying we do have a, a standard price list but for the most part you know what i'm saying you just just do it 150k for everything and just get it popping like that um i'm also in the running of getting a new crib um let me let me show y'all real quick what i'm talking about so basically i mean let me I'm, I'm not gonna drive all around like that um i'm actually i'm just you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this real quick i'm gonna just show y'all my bank account um we basically had an economy wipe about, uh, I would say like two, three weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? We had a nice little economy wipe. And um, that was because modders had came in and tried to mess up the economy. So the owners wiped it just to, you know what I mean, start everybody back off. But basically that's my account right there. Um, I got 19.6 mil inside the bank account and I got 84K of cash in my pocket. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, I get a I get a pretty nice little check, but once I become an owner and all of my paperwork and stuff is done, I'll be making really really nice money as well as having a society fund and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And um yeah, so when it comes to cribs and stuff like that, I do want to move out to uh, Rockford Hills area. Um and y'all know y'all know how Rockford Hills get. You know what I'm saying? Like all these dope cribs over here and stuff like that. So like this is where I want to live at. You know what I mean? I want to live in this part of the city. Um, also, just to let y'all know, um, we got we got weed shops in the city. Um, now, this uh, this is a store that's for sale. This one is actually McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Somebody um, recently purchased that late last night. So, I know that that's going to get updated. Um, they got the Apple Store. You know what I mean? The Apple Store is really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, they got bars. You know what I'm saying? They got liquor stores. Um, most people know about my Bahama Mamas. You know what I mean? Um, they also got like different gas stations and stuff like that they got other mechanic shops like Benny's and stuff like that that i um used to work at like it's yo listen i'm gonna tell y'all now um they also got pharmacies and stuff like this city right here they got gun stores like these aren't just regular gun stores that you go in and you buy guns they actually have people working in these shops you know what i mean so like you really be building with people they got underground casinos and stuff like that that's over here like it's yo listen this city crazy i ain't gonna lie this city crazy so if you want to join up, make sure you do. But for the most part, man, I, I've done everything that I can, man. If I if I ain't sold you on this city, this is what it is. But um, make sure you guys hit me up on Discord, on social media. Y'all know where I be at, man. You know what I'm saying? This is your boy IKC signing out, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.